The Victorians loved the occult. They just loved everything to do with the afterlife. Your attention. May I present the renowned Madame Carly. The first time we meet Evelyn Paul, she's introduced to us as Madame Carly by Ferdinand Lyle, who's an Egyptologist from the British Museum. She is actually a, a practicing clairvoyant. So research was particularly important for this job. We're at Atlantis Bookshop in the heart of London. Can you tell me a little bit about your bookshop? Well, you're standing in a shop that was built in 1888, and our shop has been going since 1922, and it was set up by magicians for magicians. You have some tarot cards here. I do. This is a deck that is nearly 200 years old. <gasps> Made in France, hand-coloured. The imagery changes uh, deck by deck and over time. As a craft, is it something that can be developed? Oh, definitely. You can develop it. I mean, you, you just have an instinct for it. That's harder and you get a better reading from people like that. Pick a card. Could you talk to us a little bit about possession? You can channel an entity, a demon, you can channel a spirit. You can elect to be possessed, but you have to have experience. If we were to maybe go on in the series to look at black magic, would I be coming to research here? What makes magic black is the intent. There are laws that we live by. If you're nasty to someone and it's not justified, then the law says that it comes back to you three times three. In season two, we discover Madame Carly is probably far more powerful than you first realize. If you thought the first series was dark, I think we're gonna paint a whole new black.